Okay, the reason I got you stopped is because, first of all, we're on a 35 stretch and I did catch you going 42. Uh, the reason I got you stopped is because I clocked you going 61 on Joshua Road when it is a 50 mile per hour zone. Uh, the reason I got you stopped, man, is because you actually did cut that uh, silver car that was over there on uh, on uh, Brogue Avenue. Sir, go ahead and go on the ground for me, please. <laughs> I don't want to show me 1023. Sir, go ahead and get on your knees Change for me, please. Traffic. Stop walking back. Stop walking back. Just get on get on your knees. Go on the ground, please. Dropping less. Got lethal. Just code 5, 8167, red Impala, white male, black hair, blue jeans, uh, and yellow shoes. Sir, go ahead and go on the ground for me, please. My, my legs hurt. Oh, your legs hurt? Alright, guys, cover me. I'm gonna go ahead and move up. Gotcha. I'll move up with you. Don't move, sir. Continue gonna have one in custody. Did he get in, or? Oh, uh, yeah, he was, he was trying to hotwire. Okay. Let's clear to me. Yeah, Intro. let's clear. I just saw this red Impala earlier sitting here. Not sure whose it is. Nine Yankee ninety six, are you I'm code for? For sure. All right, so he just broke into this vehicle. We're gonna check it out, search it really quickly. Nothing to the driver's side. What's your name? My friend. All right. Indian eleven right around the corner from that. I'll be uh, twenty three almost on scene. Okay. Very well. He just broke into this car. Good lord. I got it covered here. Y'all can go. Alright, you got a 1051? Go in? Yeah. yeah. Okay, I'm gonna okay. have one suspect down. One suspect down in front of me. Check that Crown Vic back there at the uh, the Mega Mall. I think that was the one he shot at. Gonna get this guy. He practically just um just uh cut the car off. Out of one, ten eleven gonna be out on ninety one sixty one Roy Lowenstein out with a black uh, Ford F three fifty I believe. Gonna be occupied times two. Can I get one thirty two this way, please? I'll be in route. I believe those are the same individuals that got uh, red lights in a different vehicle. Copy that. Uh, hold on, I'm actually going to move our 1011 all device with the 20 is. It's not going to be too far. Gentlemen, can Just you please take right a right? Um, can can you take a right on that street and then pull into the alleyway, please? Since we're not blocking traffic. Go ahead, I got you covered. On my MSRG station. Copy. Six shots, nine, 10 mile. 10 four. Uh, stand by. I'm having to move to the alleyway to our right. We're not blocking traffic. Never mind. We'll do it here then. I don't want to update 10 11. It's going to be 9169 Carson now across the Jamestown. Got a John Brown. Oh, good thing you're with me. He's got nine convictions. Thanks for rolling up, man. Yes, sir. What did I do now? What's going on, sir? Can you uh, flip the engine off for me so I can hear you a little better? Yes, sir. 
I appreciate this, sir. My name is Sheriff Patel, Blinken County Sheriff's Office. Over there is Officer uh, Corporal Jean, um, Jacob Massey with the LSPD. The uh, reason I got you stopped, man, is because you actually did cut that uh, silver car that was over there on uh, on a Rogue Avenue, uh, right next to the Mega Mall. Um, I know you both are at a stop sign, but you know it takes two to have an accident. You just want to make sure that if a car is proceeding at a yield, um, you could have been T-boned right there. So, um, any reason for you're in such a rush? No, I. To be honest, I didn't see him. I just got frightened. Because, um, you know, a cop in an alleyway pulling out behind me. You know. so I, tend to I was just looking behind me, you know. Okay, no, I got you, man. I understand that. Um, have you been drinking anything tonight? Taking any kind of uh, prescription medication? Any uh, drugs? Anything like that? Okay. Um, do you have your driver's license on you? Uh, I think I still got it taken away from when I was arrested, but I got my ID here. Okay, okay. Oh, just gotta, just from, make sure you let me know you're stepping out the car next time, oh, man. Sorry, I appreciate sorry. that. All good. Mr. John Brown? Yep. Okay, you do have a license to drive, right? Yep. Alright, do you have any warrants after arrest? Not that I think. Okay, and Pastor, uh, do, you th do you think just for, uh, just for documentation so I can get your first and last name? Uh, Mark Harris. Mr. Harris, hopefully you, uh, hopefully everything has been yeah. going well since the last time we talked, man. I mean, not really, man. Oh, I'm sorry, man. Well, hopefully you got a good friend to help you out here. Whatever's yeah, going yeah, on, man. At least you got friends, right? Yeah. Okay. Anyone. I got you, man. Okay, uh, just hang tight for me, guys. You guys can talk to uh, Corporal Massey, pretty good guy, and I'll be right back with you. All right. Thank you, guys. All right, so we'll just run his ID really quickly. I didn't need the pastor's ID, but you know, just in case. He does have a valid driver's license. He was convicted. What is conviction? Still have a controlled substance. Oh my god. Show incidents, rather. Okay, so August 17th. I'm assuming that was my charge against him, right? No, oh, he's got improperly, improperly parking. Okay. Okay, I got you. Oh, that was today. Today is the 17th. Okay, I see. Uh, okay. Anything else? Okay, it doesn't have any, like, while driving convictions except for, um... Alright, so we're just gonna cut him with a verbal warning. I mean, not a big deal. Um, just wanted to make sure everything was okay. Make sure he's not, you know, intoxicated. It's uh, kind of, um, late at night, too, so... We'll just let him go with the verbal warning and let him be on about his way. Hey, gentlemen, sorry about that. Just had to deal with something. I uh, just had to uh, deal with something really quickly. But um, here's the deal, gentlemen. So I appreciate your patience. Um, Mr. Brown, I am going to be letting you go um, with uh, with a verbal warning today. Okay, you got to you got to be a little Thank careful. You, um, just want to make sure I just want to make sure that you weren't, you know, tired behind the wheel or nothing like that. So um, you're free to go at this moment. All right. Have a good rest of your night, man. Do I get my ID back? Oh, yes, yes. Here you are, sir. Yes, sir. Right as well. Oh, sorry. I might have gave it to your friend, but just have him give it back to you when you guys when you guys get out. All right, thank you. All right, no no problem, gentlemen. Have a good night. You too. I think it's gonna be. Front closing. Out of one, gonna be 1011, 4013 Southeast Joshua Road out with a blue, uh, light blue dot challenger occupied one time. Uh, no additionals required at this moment. Alright, let's run the plate really quickly. This guy went 61 in a 50. 5 564, right? Yeah, that's gonna be him. I don't wanna start me one additional. I got one felon on a. For a registered owner. It's gonna get in 4013 Southeast Joshua Road. 15, power up that way. Uh, 
Ashawn Williams. Oh, okay, that's fine. Then. I guess I'll just call you when, when I'm done with this hit. I don't want 218. I'm gonna start the initial interaction with that Ashawn Williams. I believe that's gonna be him in the car. Not sure though. Tempura, uh, just on Joshua Red, about 30 seconds out. Hello, good afternoon, sir. How are you doing today? What's good? I'm doing pretty How good. Doing? My name, I'm doing pretty good. My name is Sheriff Patel, Blink County Sheriff's Office. Uh, the reason I got you stopped is because I clocked you going 61 on oh. Joshua Road when it is a 50 mile per hour zone. You were about to approach in the 60s, but uh, not quite there yet. Any reason for going so fast? Uh, not really. I'm off to the garage uh, a couple hundred feet from us. I got you. Okay. Uh, the, the garage, where exactly? 13, 23 with the, uh, uh, Adam 1. Just, in, just straight ahead. Okay. Um, you got your uh, license on you, sir? Uh, yes, sir. All right. Thank you very much, Mr. Deshaun Williams. Right? Yes, sir. You don't have any uh, weapons in the vehicle? No drugs, something like that? No, of course not. Okay, I'll be right back with you then, sir. In the meantime, you can talk to uh, Chief uh, Williams over there, or Assistant Chief Williams. Thanks to 18, I'm just going to run his information really quickly. Alright, let's see what we got here. So Deshaun Williams said he's on his way to the garage. Uh, we can take this out. Okay, we will go ahead and get a citation started. <clears throat> Alright, Mr. Williams. What up? So here's the deal, sir. Uh, you are going to be receiving the citation today for speeding between 1 to 15 miles per hour. Okay, got to keep it Dang. a little slow. Alright, especially since you're out near the boonies. Uh, you know, there could be a lot of different people coming out. And um, it's not your first time getting a traffic ticket. Okay, so keep it, uh, keep it down on the pedal for a little bit. Uh, and if you will, please go ahead and sign on the bottom right here. Sign an admission to guilt. It's just a promise to take your the court date. On or before the court, if you have any questions, you can dial the number at the back of the citation. Okay, here you are, and there's a pen at the top, along with your license. There you go. Alright, oh. Deshaun Williams. Here you go. Okay, I appreciate that, sir. Thank you very much, and do you have any questions at all, sir? Uh, no, sir. Okay, here's your copy and again your license. Oh, you gave me two of your licenses. I'm not sure which one. Uh... I only gave you one. Oh, well, I don't know. I guess I have the extra <laughs> that that came along with oh. it. Beautiful. I guess I have two of them now. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> okay, Mr. Williams. Well, uh, you're free to go since we get out of here, okay? Have a good day. Thank you. You too. Yes, sir. See you, uh, Mr. Williams. Thanks a lot, Assistant Chief Williams, no pun intended. I'll see you out there, man. Of course, see you out there, be safe. Y yes, sir, you too. Cool, so he's going to be all good to go, and uh, we'll see what else we can get into today. I don't want to get show my 1011 clear, show myself in 218 back 10 and available. Uh, looks like uh, Mr. Williams took the citation very well. We're going to go ahead and uh, find him. There we go. He's all good to go. And we'll just write our paperwork. We'll go back to where we uh, last were. That's a good spot, actually, for uh, radar. Because um, from the front end, you can't really see anything but a black silhouette of a car. See that? Can't really tell much on the front, but if you look at the sides and the back, might look a little, a little more uh, maybe something that you want to be careful approaching. But uh, still, either way, a good spot. Not bad, not bad. Good stuff. Cool, we'll be back tonight. We'll see what else we can get into. We'll just write this uh, report real quick.
take shots too far. I'm, I'm actually going to be breaking off from the recent, recent call. They're uh, sufficient enough to be handled it on their own. Pull further ahead. That's good, thank you. I don't want 1011, gonna be 2001 Northwest Union Road out with a red and colored Dodge Challenger. Pierce preoccupied times one. Uh, gotta get 132 this way, please. Alright, this guy went 41, or 42, sorry, on a 35, and uh, got really close to that black vehicle before making a turn, before that person made a turn onto O'Neill Way. Uh, whoops. Here is Brown, okay, so I meant to copy. Driver's license. TR, what is that for? Maintaining lanes, okay. Alright. <clears throat> Hello, sir. How's it going? Can you roll down the window for me, please? How's it going today, sir? Yeah, it's going good, you know. Oh, pretty good. I guess you know me by now. Sheriff Patel, Blink, County Sheriff's Office. You know what got you stopped, yeah. man? No, not really, bro. Okay, the reason I got you stopped is because, first of all, we're on a 35 stretch, and I did catch you going 42, okay? And then you got really close to that vehicle, mm -hmm. the black uh, little SUV, before they made a left-hand turn onto O'Neill Way, okay? So, um, right. we got a following distance issue and a speeding issue, okay? Uh, do you got your driver's license on you, sir? Yeah, I do, bro. Okay, if you want to go ahead and pass that over to me. Appreciate that. Mr. Brown, right? Yeah. All right, let's see here. Appreciate that, sir. Okay, I'll be right back with you if you wanna feel so inclined. You can talk to the assistant chief here, and I'll be back with you as soon as I can. All right. No weapons, no, nothing like that in the car, sir. Ah, uh, bro. You been keeping yourself clean, Mr. Brown? Yeah. I hope you know, so. There's some fake ass bitches out there, you know, but like, you know, I, I can't make a move or anything for now. We'll see. Is uh, is the, have you found that the life of crime hasn't been really working out for you necessarily? Not really. That's good, man. It looks like you're making good choices for about maybe uh, about uh, almost 10 days since your past conviction. That was just a maintaining lanes. But if we're talking arrested, uh, that's um, we're talking quite a long time. So good on you, Mr. Brown. Keep it up, okay? All right, bro. All right, I'll be right back with you, man. All right. What's up, bro? All right. I'm good. Yeah, he has. A sh he actually has been oh, keeping himself really, clean. But Oh, 2nd of September. Wow, so it has been about 10 yeah, days since his last not? conviction. Oh my god, and it's terrible. <laughs> Hopefully he keeps it that way. Alright. Meaning, I hope he keeps it the way he's going right now. And hopefully gets rid of these traffic issues in the future. Oh, speed one didn't come through. All right. 464 divided by 2 is going to be 232. We'll give him half the fine. Since he's been pretty cooperative, no problem. All right, cool. Okie doke, Mr. Brown, here's the deal, sir. So, um, because of your cooperation and whatnot, uh, you are receiving a citation for two things, okay? Now, excuse me, sorry. Um, 
It would have originally been a $464 citation, however, I did cut it down to $232 due to your cooperation, okay? But um, lay off people's tails and keep it down on the All roads right. here, okay? Especially like a bird like that sitting right in the middle, man, could, uh, could definitely damage a, st a challenger looking out for your car. So um, be a little extra Thank careful, you. okay? Yeah, problem. All right, so did you receive that? Yeah, I think so, yeah. yeah oh, did. okay, and if you can, please go ahead and take back your driver's license, and if I can have you sign on the bottom right here of the citation, sign on admission to guilt. Uh, it's just a promise to take care of the court date. On or before the court date, if you have any questions, you can dial the number at the back of the, at the citation, okay? All right, here you go, bro. Very good, sir. I'll give you your copy. Any questions, Mr. Brown? No, sir. Um, oh, okay. As soon as uh, Assistant Chief Williams and I get back in the car, you're free to go at this point, okay? Alright. Alright, have a good rest of your day, sir. Yeah, you too. Thank you. Thanks for the help again. Appreciate it, sir. Of course. Be safe. You too. Oh, just a couple of things, by the way. Um, uh, Actually, you know what? Pull, uh, here, pull in here, and I'll talk to you about it. Alrighty. I don't want to show myself in 218 clear off the traffic stop you go for. Pull up ahead, please. <laughs> Second time getting someone in this spot. No, third, third. I don't want 10 11, gonna be 3032 Joshua Road, cross of Calafia Road, near Stab City, gonna be out with a red and colored metallic Chevrolet Malibu or Cruise, four door sedan, occupy one time additionals. He went 80. I don't want to actually start me at 32 this way, please. Driver 181 in a, in a 50 zone. Let's see, LDP. Antonio Reyes. going on, Mr. Reyes? How's it going? How's it going? Sheriff Patel, Blink County Sheriff's Office, man. You know how fast you were going back there? Yeah, honestly, um, probably maybe like 80 miles an hour. You were going about 80 miles an hour, and the, do you know what the speed limit is on the stretch? Yeah, it's about 50. It's about 50, okay, so what's the reason for going so fast? Honestly, I don't know. It's kind of, kind of sent it at that point, to be honest with you. I got you, man. You got your license on you? Mm -hmm. 3032 Joshua Road. <clears throat> Can you pass that up to me, please? You don't have any weapons in the vehicle, nothing like that? No. All right, Mr. Reyes. You're free, you're free to look if you want to. No, all good for now, man. Just um, hang tight for me, okay? Just keep your hands on the wheel. Keep the engine off. I'll be right back with you, okay? All right, all right man. I don't want I'm going to wait for your arrival, and then we can have him step out. It's Juan Antonio Reyes. 180 into 50. So let's see here. So he's got a few arrests. One recently. Number thirty-three. I'll be responding. Code three. I'll be there in about two months. Hey, what's going on, LT? Hey, Chief. Uh, Sheriff. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, good. So How I got. Doing? I'm doing pretty good. I got Antonio Reyes right here. Went eighty in a fifty zone. Okay. Well, so okay. clearly, clearly twenty-five above. Um, he says he has nothing in the car, nothing like that. But um, I'm thinking, I'm thinking since he's pretty cooperative, he's usually never like this. Um, I am thinking of doing a sight and release. I would have taken it to jail, but I don't think it's worth, you know, doing that if he's going to be cooperative. Oh, and yeah, sure. uh, what we'll do is we'll search his vehicle inventory, all that stuff, and then we'll let him on a sight release. But first things first, get him in handcuffs and all that stuff, you know. Yes, sir. And then uh, we'll suspend his license as well. Okay, sounds good. Very good. Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, hey, Mr. Reyes, 
Mm -hmm. Can I have you do me a favor, sir? Can I have you step out the vehicle for me? All right. Why not? You don't have any weapons on you, right? Nothing like that? Not at all. Okay, man. If you want to go and spin towards your vehicle real quick. All right. Right now, just, just for the meantime, sir, you're going to be detained in handcuffs, okay? Um, the reason why is because you went 80 in a 50. But I will tell you right now, because of your cooperation, I'm not going to be taken to jail, okay? What is going to happen today, all right, is we're going to do something called a sight and release. Um, because of your cooperation, you've been pretty good with me so far. Everything's been smooth. This is probably the first time I've not been shot at from you uh, in months. So, or days, I should say. Um, so your cooperation goes a long way. However, you have had a long streak of felony evading, reckless driving, getting tons of citations, stuff like that. And have not yet had your license suspended, so that's what's going to happen today, okay? When 80 in the 50 zone is pretty pretty dangerous. So and you're suspending I, my license? I am suspending your license, okay? And the vehicle will have to be towed, okay? Mm. All right, then. All right, so if you want to do me a favor, man, just go ahead and uh, come out over here. You can have a seat right here on the, on, on the you know, actually, if you want to have a seat in the car? Because I don't want to get your jeans dirty. Up to you. We're going to have a seat here. That's fine. Yeah, sure. Just put me in the vehicle. Okay, sure. So my vehicle is getting towed. Can I get can I get at least dropped off at the bank? Because that's originally where I was going. Um, I can I can see what I can arrange for you, Mr. Reyes. All right, just watch your head coming in. All right. So we're in a we're in a rush ahead today, today, sir. No, no. Like I said, man, I, I just kind of. Push gas in that part. Saw a long stretch of road, no one around, so I just kind of floored it a little bit. I got you, my man. Okay. Um, just hang tight for me. What I'll do is I'll go ahead and uh, we'll check the vehicle and stuff like that. We'll call for a tow down here, and then um, we'll proceed with the paperwork, and then we'll get you released, okay? Maybe I can get you a drop off somewhere, all right? I appreciate that. All right, I appreciate that, Mr. Reyes. Okay, four trunk's going to be clear. Inside the vehicle's going to be clear as well, Adam. Copy that. Okay. Um, I will. Uh, would you mind helping me get a tow out here, and uh, yeah, I will go ahead and get the paperwork all set up for Mr. Reyes, and we'll get him on his way. Yes, sir. All right, Mr. Reyes. Right off of three zero three one. You gotta be a little more careful, okay? Um, like I said, your cooperation has went a long way, okay? Otherwise, things would have been a little bit different. Are you going to be the one dropping me off or what? That's right. Well, appreciate that. Of course. All right, sir. I'm going to get on out of here. Gotcha. Thank you, man. I appreciate your help. Absolutely. How's everything been for you, Mr. Reyes? How's it what? How's everything been for you lately? Everything good? So far, I mean, so far it's chilling. You know, can't really complain too much. I was in jail for quite a while. Don't be, uh... Would you say you've um, attained a lot of attained a lot of maybe um, flashbacks to maybe seeing if things could have went differently that last time, man? I mean, sort of, kind of, I guess. I mean, I, I, I didn't really have any. Uh, you know, I don't know. How do you how do you say it? I, I guess you know. Look, I didn't look back on it, basic kind of type of thing. I just I just kept on going about my day. Sure, sure, hundred percent. I mean, I guess you can kind of say I'm pretty much chilling right now. You know? Yeah, for sure, hundred percent. That's good. That's good, man. Like I said, this is one of the first occasions in a while where I've not had a, a gun pointed to my face. So I can tell you, I'm proud mm -hmm. of you for that, man. Hope, hopefully, this personal, crime. Patel. I know. I ain't nothing. No, it's never personal. It's all. It's all business, right? Like you say. It was business, man. In those moments, if I could have the choice to, you know, just not, not hurt you, I would have. I appreciate that, Mr. Reyes. What what I'll do is I'll go ahead and get you. Where do you want to head to right now? You said. Let's just a fleet of bank on 68. Okay, we can take you there right now, and then we'll let you uh, we'll let you off. Okay, I just got some paperwork for you to sign over there. Okay. All right, man. How do I want to show me what times on 10:15? I'm gonna be doing a site and release right now. Sending more of the fleet of bank. So how's uh those Russian boys been? They've been uh I hear in, in prison they've been making moves. Well, um they got out recently. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I, I mean I was a uh, I was in solitary for a little while, so I didn't really get to see much, but I heard they were there. 
Oh, you were in solitary, huh? They put you. They don't. They don't put you there. Yeah. Uh, I guess yeah, they they didn't want to have the the chance of you know those boys and me in there getting at it. So. You know, it's probably probably better for everyone, right? Because um, I mean, I don't know, man. I'm not gonna lie to you. Uh, so far, it looks like looks like you've been kind of lone wolf lately, haven't you? Yeah, I guess you can say that. Yeah, it is. Uh, I haven't seen Zoe in a while. I haven't heard from the, the higher ups. It's been really quiet. Not too sure what's going on, but you know. Was he on vacation or something? Day. I don't know. I don't know where the, the head the head man is, Gordo. I haven't I haven't seen him in a long long time. Actually, I haven't even met the man. But who? Gordo? Yeah, Gordo. You talking about uh? You talking about uh, Julio Espinosa? Uh, I don't know. His name. I don't know his oh. name. His name is Gordo. I see. Don Gordo. Don Gordo. Never told me his name. It's been a long time since I heard of that man. Indian Eleven back tonight. Haven't seen him in a while. So I was kind of laying low. You usually go to the compound these days, or kind of just laying, Every now and laying then. at your home. Oh. Kinda, just kind of go in there. It's kind of give it a little bit of life. You know, pretty empty now that you know, Zoe's not around, and well, of course, the is gone. So. Yeah, no doubt. Well, okay, Mr. Reyes, um, let me just get some stuff printed out, um, and I will go ahead and get you out the car with these handcuffs and whatnot. Just give me a second. I don't want to show me how to Route 68 Felisa Bank, releasing one. All right, Mr. Reyes, watch your head coming out, okay? All right, and then just stay faced away from me so I can get these handcuffs off of you. There you go. Right. And let me go ahead and close the door right here. All right, Mr. Reyes. There we go. So here's your license. Uh, or actually, the license is um is not going to be valid. So I'm going to be taking it taking it from you. Okay. So you're not going to be having your license copy back. Okay. You can't get another one when your reinstatement is done, which will be 10 days from today. Okay. So that would be on. October 8th, okay? So Sunday, October 8th is when your license can be reinstated. You'll just have to go to a law enforcement officer and make sure you get that all checked out, okay? I would suggest maybe you go with a friend or somebody who you can go with. Um, not sure if you hang around with that Boone guy these days or that guy you were rolling around with a little while back, but in any which case, have someone take you there. This way they can get your license reinstated. This way you're not caught driving with a suspended license, okay? And here's going to be a citation for the entire thing, and that's going to be for... $650 for reckless driving, okay? Like I said, that is a sight and release, meaning that you could have been arrested for it. That's called for reckless driving, but you're not. You're just being cited, okay? Does does, that ever, does everything make sense to you? Yeah, it makes perfect sense. Okay, so I'm first going to issue the citation. I shall just do it through here. Did you receive that? Mm-hmm. Okay, and here is your paperwork. If you want to go and sign on the bottom right there, it is not an admission to guilt. It's just a promise to take care of any of the... Um, or make sure that you're not going to be driving on a suspended driver's license, all that good stuff, and make sure that you take care of the court date and all that stuff. And uh, if you have any questions, you can dial the number on the back of the citation, and once you do sign it, you can take the yellow copy right underneath it, okay? Yeah, man. Very well. Thank you very much, Mr. Reyes. And do you have any questions for me, sir? No. Okay. And like I said, your car is going to be impounded, so that means you can't drive nothing until, until October 8th, okay? All right, man. All right, very well. Thank you, Mr. Reyes. Have a good rest of your day, man. You too. Yes, sir.